Hello students and welcome to the new lecture session. Myself, Shanku Hosh, Assistant Professor of Automobile Engineering Department at Dr. Sudhir Chandra Shur Degree Engineering College under the JIS group. So students, today we'll discuss on new topic that is GDI or Gasoline Direct injection this is that this 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 topic is takes from the module number five that is latest engine technology features or from the subject of modern vehicle technology this is the seventh semester automobile engineering students subject and the subject code is aue 704 b So the as I as I said that topic name is GDI. So from this topic, the objective of, of this topic is that a student can easily understand about the history of the GDI. They can easily understand the failure of the carburetor and why we go why we go for the GDI in spite of the carburetor what are the differences in between the port injection port injection and direct injection its working principle and the various components so student let's start the class on GDI GDI or a gasoline direct injection GDI or gasoline direct injection is a type of fuel is a type of fuel injection used by many modern vehicle traditional multi point fuel injection injects traditional multi point fuel injection injects fuel into the intake at low pressure but with the GDI engine, a common fuel line, a common fuel line inject gasoline, inject gasoline at high pressure directly into the combustion chamber of each cylinder. GDI is a mixture formation system. GDI is a mixture formation system in system for IC engine. It runs on gasoline. Where Fuel is inject directly injected into the combustion chamber. This is distinct from the manif manifold fuel injection system. This is the distinct from sorry uh, manifold fuel injection system, which inject fuel into the intake manifold. This gives GDI engine precise control of injection time. This gives GDI engine precise control of injection timing and the amount of the fuel delivered. The use of GDI can help increase engine efficiency and specific power output as well as the reduce the exhaust emission. It is also known as PDI or petrol direct injection. The GDI engine provides many benefits. The GDI engine provides many benefits that conventional fuel injection cannot. With the gasoline direct injection technology, with the gasoline direct ignition te injection technology or GDI technology, you can draw more power. You can draw more power from smaller engine in additional your car gets improved in additional your car gets improved and reduce the emissions while great the power of gdi engine while great the power of gdi engine is a double edged edged short while 
to get many benefits from the gasoline direct ignition carbon deposit that build up can still all the positive associated with this type of engine the modern gasoline sorry the modern gasoline is packed full of detergents and does a great washing the back side of your exhaust and the intake valves because gdi engine directly inject gas directly inject gas into the cylinder so small amount of dirt from intake air the small amount of dirt from intake air and blow back the carbon and blow back carbon build up to build up on intake walls over time this cause carbon build up over time this causes carbon build up that restricts air flow to the cylinder that restricts air flow to the cylinders and you lose and you lose the aid to, of torque and you lose the aid of torque and fuel economy that gdi provides in the first place that's why the gdi provides in the first place for this reason it is important for this reason it is important to use it is important to use a fuel system cleaner fuel system cleaner and products that specialize the gdi intake valve cleaning gdi engines have many perks they have many perks but only if maintained properly bring your vehicle to ferber tire and auto for an inspection to ensure your vehicle is running at its absolute best now come to the this history an early use of an early use of indirect gasoline injection dates back to 1902 which when french aviation engineer when the french aviation engineer leon levasseur leon levasseur pioneered on it pioneered it on his auto inity on on his auto inity 8 volt aircraft power plant auto inity 8 volt aircraft power plant another early use of another early use of gasoline direct injection another early use of gasoline direct injection was on the was on the hasselman engine so the hasselman engine which is provided invented by swedish engineer swedish engineer johns hasselman in the year of 1925 so hasselman engine used the the hasselman engine used the ultra lean burn principle ultra lean burn principle fuel is injected the fuel is injected toward the end of the compression stroke towards the end of the compression stroke then ignited with a spark then ignited with a spark the first gdi engine to reach production was introduced in the year of 1925 for a low compression truck engine the first gdi the first gdi engine to reach engine to reach production was introduced in 1925 for a, a lower compression truck engine several german car several german cars used a bosch mechanical gdi system in the 1950s however use of technology remain however the use of the use of the technology remain rare in rare until an electronic gdi system until an electronic gdi system was introduced in the year of 1996 by the mitsubishi for the mass production car gdi has been 
has seen rapid adaptation the gdi has has seen rapid adoption by the automotive industry in recent year increasing in the us increasing in us from 2.3% from 2.3% of production from model year 2008 vehicle to approximately 50% for the model year 2016 so it's a huge improvement and huge speed of adoption next is carburetor a carburetor is a mechanical device a carburetor is a mechanical device which is basically used to make which is basically used to make an appropriate to make an appropriate mixture of air and fuel for burning or combustion so the carburetor is a mechanical device which is used which is used to make an appropriate mixture of air and fuel for the burning or combustion in the combustion chamber so student the so the basic function of the carburetor is r it prepares a mixture of air and fuel it prepares a mixture of air and fuel for an si engine for an si engine it is also used it is also used to control the speed of the vehicle and it converts petrol into the fine droplet it converts the petrol in a fine droplet and mixes it in a air and mixes it in air in such a way that it burns smoothly in engine and without any problem so these three are the function of the carburetor but in the new technology of si engine we use gdi why not we use a carburetor we need to know that's because of few reasons that's the that's are the vapor lock perfect air fuel mixture cannot be obtained a lack of throttle responses a low volumetric efficiency and icing problem in the aircraft engine these are these five are the main reasons of main reasons of carburetor not using in the recent on in the modern si engine modern gas modern gasoline engine then why should i go for the gdi the gdi that is a gasoline related injection we go just because of these things that it low it produce the lower fuel consumption it require it require lower fuel consumption and it produce the more output better than the current mpi style of fuel injection it is better than the current type of multi point injection system style is ultra precise computer management ultra precisely computer management the location of the injectors injectors less pollution from each drop of gasoline and the world needs for the the better environment so these are the main reasons of for well these are the main reasons that's why we are looking for the gdi in spite of carburetor now coming to the differences in between the pfi or, or versus gdi where pfi stands for port fuel injected port fuel injected and gdi stands for gasoline direct ignition and automaker an automaker around the world has been tasked with delivering and automakers around the world have been tasked with delivering more fuel efficient vehicle deliver more fuel efficient vehicle in a multitude of design a multitude of design improves has been 
put in place to provide consumer's car with the improved efficiency. Mm -hmm. One technology called one technological advance involved. One technological advancement involves the deployment of a modified engine configures that has been widely adapted that is GDI or the gasoline direct injection. Historically, historically the most widely produced, historically the most widely produced IC engines were on the PFI design or the port fuel ignition injection design where the fuel is spray where the fuel is spray into the intake part to mix with the incoming air mix with the incoming air in fact many few vehicles in fact the many few vehicles are still manufactured in this design the fuel injectors in MPI PFI the fuel injectors in PFI configuration are typically mounted in the intake manifold and the air fuel mixture is pulled into the cylinder head as the intake valves open as the intake valves open in the GDI engine the gasoline injectors are suitable in a in a uh, G, in a GDI engine the fuel injectors are suited in the cylinder head in the cylinder head and fuel is spray directly into the cylinder where the air and fuel mixture mixing then occurs mixing then occurs there are many advantages there are the many advantages of the GDI system over the PFI design the most significant of which is its better fuel economy. The rapid growth of the GDI technology globally, the rapid growth, rapid growth of the GDI technology globally increasing from 1 to 44 percent of engine production in the last 17 years. The forecast of increase of the forecast to increase to 62 percent in the upcoming five years. Another advantage is performance. The another advantage is performance with increased power delivered from a system that combines higher injection, higher injection pressure, and the more accurate delivery of the fuel into the piston delivers piston cylinder. Sorry. The combustion occurs when gasoline vapors mix with the oxygen the combustion occurs when the gasoline vapors mix with the oxygen and the gdi system the fuel spray into the cylinder is more finely is more finely atomized and allowing for a nearly instantaneous ignition the sophisticated computer control in this direct injected system enable the multiple injection and metering of fuel which aid in both performance and efficient of the vehicle both performance and efficient of the vehicle so as i discuss here the picture is shown in this port injection that the fuel is injected into the port <coughs> into the port and direct injection is the fuel is directly injected into the combustion chamber. So these are the differences in between the PFI or GDI versus GDI. Now coming to the working principle. Gasoline direct injection engine. The gasoline direct injection engine or GDI engine generate air fuel mixture generate air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber during the induction stroke or the suction stroke only the combustion air only the combustion air flow to the open interval 
during the suction stroke or induction stroke only the the one and only the combustion air flow air flow through air flows through the open intake valve the fuel is injected directly the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber by the special fuel injector the system uses an electronic control unit or ecu and a solenoid operated fuel injector to meter the fuel and the ecu uses and the ecu or electronic control unit uses various kinds of sensors which is located on the engine various engines component various engine components which it receives input from the sensor in the form of which in which receives and it receives and the ecu receives input from the sensor in form of voltage signal which is analyzed which is analyzed and adjusted by the air fuel ratio and adjust the air fuel ratio and the injection time now well, coming to the various components of the <coughs> ddi system that's the ecu or electronic control unit next is sensor third one is injector and the fourth one is high pressure fuel pump here in the picture shows the components of the gdi system where this is the picture of ecu here is the high pressure pump this is the electronic control throttle portion this is the fuel distribution and this is the fuel distribution and this is the fuel injector here is the lambda sensor uh, these are the lambda sensor here is the nox catalytic converter so this is the sort of combined component which is used in the is for the gdi technology now comes to the ecu ecu or the electronic control unit is a part of the engine so as i told as i said as we are known that the engine is the heart the engine is the heart of the vehicle and the now for the modern technology the issue is the heart of the engine then engine is the heart of the vehicle so now what is the harm who is who issue or electronic control unit is the heart of the engine the ecu is computer that control ecu is a computer ecu is a computer that control all the electronic components electronic components on the engine the ecu is a computer that control all the electronic components and the function of the ecu in here is that it control the fuel mixture a ecu control the fuel mixture it control of ignition timing it control of ideal speed it control of variable valve timing and it also control by the electronics so the ecu control the fuel mixture is you control the ignition timing is you control the ideal speed is you control of variable valve timing and the electronic valve which is controlled and the electronic valve is also controlled so these are the function of the main function of the ecu next is the sensor in order to provide in order to provide the correct amount of fuel in order to provide a the correct amount of fuel 
for every operating condition for every operating condition the ecu has to monitor the ecu has to monitor a huge number of input sensor a huge number of input sensor such as acceleration pedal sensor acceleration pedal sensor air flow sensor high pressure pump sensor crank angle sensor acceleration pedal sensor air flow sensor high pressure sensor crank sensor etc so these are the various types of sensor which are used now we will discuss the types the sub sensor that is throttle position sensor which is located on throttle place to sense its movement throttle position sensor which is located which is located on <laughs> throttle plate to sense its to sense its movement next is the engine coolant the engine coolant temperature sensor to sense the coolant temperature sorry sorry the engine coolant temperature sensor the engine coolant temperature sensor sends is used to sense the coolant temperature and it helps to adjust it helps to adjust the air fuel supply at the time of cold starting and idling next is air flow sensor which is located at intake manifold to monitor the air flow rate to monitor the air flow rate next is engine exhaust temperature sensor which is used to measure the oxygen content in the exhaust this sensor is also known as the lambda sensor or the o2 sensor next is the manifold pressure sensor which is mounted on intake manifold and it helps to adjust flow of air fuel ratio into the engine next one is air inlet temperature sensor which is mounted on the intake manifold which is mounted on the intake manifolds to sense the temperature to sense the temperature of inlet inlet air and it helps to adjust and it helps to adjust the air fuel ratio camshaft position sensor which is mounted on camshaft camshaft position sensor which is mounted on the camshaft which sense the rotational of camshaft and adjust the fuel injection timing so these are the sensor were basically used for this gdi technology next one is injector a fuel injector is nothing a fuel injector is nothing but an electronically controlled fan so fuel injector is nothing but an electronically controlled fan when the injector is energized when the injector is energized an electromagnetic magnet moves a plunger an electromagnet moves a plunger and that opens the valve and allowing the pressurized fluid to squirt out through the tiny nozzle and it is totally controlled and it is totally controlled by the ec so basically this injector is nothing but an electronic control valve which is acted when it is energized when the injector is energized there is in between them there is a plunger which is moves through the the help of the electromagnet and when it moves when the its plunger this plunger is moves and the valve is open and it will allow the pressurized fluid to squirt to to enter uh, out enter out throughout the t tiny nozzle uh, this is all totally controlled by the electronic control unit as i said next one is the high pressure fuel pump it is a used to maintain it is used to maintain the high pressure of the fuel this this pump is basically used to maintain the pressure 
all the fuel and it supplies from and it supplies the fuel from the fuel tank to the injector so these are the bring to functions of this high pressure fuel pump now going to the burning mode there are the three types of burning mode one is ultra lean burning mode stoichiometric mode and the full power mode then what is the, the ultra lean burn mode at low speed at low speed the mixture is injected at the end of the compression stroke the mixture is injected at the end of the compression stroke for lowest heat losses for lowest heat losses and this is when the compression ratio is the cylinder is mixing mixing and then then that time the compression ratio of the cylinder is the maximum this is the ultra lean burn mode next one is a stoichiometric mode this is the conventional method this is the conventional method of injection during the intake stroke for optimum combustion and minimum waste gases during moderate city driving condition minimum waste gases during moderate the city driving condition so this is the stoichiometric mode next one is the full power mode fuel is injected in the the fuel is injected in the intake stroke at a higher and this is done and this is done at high speed or high load condition like a climbing a hill so this is the full power mode so these are the three types of the burning mode now coming to the advantages of this gti system it is 8 to 22 percent higher the fuel economy the more torque and the horsepower allowing from the smaller engines it can inject fuel any time it can inject fuel any time during the four stroke cycle of events cylinder scavenging is greatly enhanced compression ratio can be higher the compression ratio can be higher linear fuel mixture and the linear fuel mixture is greatly enhanced here so and compression ratio can be higher a linear fuel mixture linear fuel mixture during the cold engine operation adjustable adjustable fuel modes to target the emission problem it's lower the carbon dioxide emission level reduce the engine pumping loss cylinder charging charge cooling cylinder charge cooling and much smaller droplet spray and much smaller droplet spray of fuel and it reduced the cylinder wall temperature spark knob is much more controlled so these are the main advantages of the gdi technology if we used in the vehicle next one is coming sir disadvantage the dramatic changes the dramatic changes in the fuel delivery and the control system the small injection time window the small injection time window a lean burns make post combustion knocks difficult to control high level of soot formation due to the lower intake temperature and the exhaust inversion increase electrical power demand for injectors proper engine maintenance is very critical component can be more expensive the newer technology required technician training many components are one time use the fuel rail the fuel rail and the lines are made from the ss or stainless steel and it has many special tool needed 
for the routing service. So these are the advantages of the GDI. So students, in the today's class, we covered the various points of on GDI technology. So from this class, they can easily the students you can easily understand about the GDI technology. Why we used gasoline direct injection in spite of the carburetor and the what are the basic difference in between the port fuel ignition injection and the gasoline direct injection then you can then you can understand about the working principle working principle of of this and the what are the main components are used for this technology and also can understand about its advantage and the at disadvantage so this is the this is the topic on the gti and the next class we will discuss on the new topic still then stay at home and stay safe thank you thank you so much students